the opportunities around medical, um, especially, and we've seen it now in Africa, where in some parts of Africa, like the DRC, you know, to travel maybe 100 kilometers can take you a day um, in the good season. Rainy season, it's almost impossible. Um, so getting things like vaccines, medicines, blood samples back, you know, to be tested, especially where you've got things like Ebola and stuff like that, is incredibly difficult. And with drones, as Zipline company, Zipline Swoop, um, Wingtra, and that have shown, uh, it's exceptionally efficient and a lot cheaper um, to get them there. And especially, you know, you're talking about a little box of vials or, you know, a little uh, of either vaccines or blood samples. You know, it just doesn't make sense to use a vehicle to do it, uh, the additional cost and things like that. Uh, so it's incredibly exciting what's happening, and that has sort of paved the way for commercial delivery drones uh, like Wing are doing, etc. in the US. Uh, in fact, Wing is actually doing it in London, uh, flying the guys and some and considering organ transplants. If you take it, it costs you a few thousand dollars per hour to transfer a heart from one hospital to the other. Now, doing that by drone is literally a few dollars, so it makes a lot of sense.